Well, I'm actually down here to pick some corn. Uh, <laughs> I actually been going through a lot of corn, but what I did the other day is I canned up a bunch because this this first row was a 65 day, and that is all ripe. The next three rows are the 75 day, and that's starting to kick in. So she's been. <laughs> I've been swamped with corn, but it's nice to have a bunch of it canned up But I was down here to get more corn to try to keep ahead of it Looking at the other stuff. I got a lot of muskmills. Well cucumbers. They're just going nuts. You know, I, I'm way behind on them But I got a lot of muskmelons Which will be good, you know, they're coming along fine and I have been eating the acorn squash. There's a lot of them, though it's kind of hard to see. Well, there's one way down in there. But they're pretty uh, typical production. You know, they kick in pretty well. These are the sugar baby watermelons. And although they're not quite ready to go, they're getting close. You know, they're getting that that vibration to them. So it won't be long and I'll have them. And there's plenty of them in there, though they kind of bury in the vines. It's hard to... Things get to be a bit of a jungle down here. This is the other type of watermelon. Uh, these, uh, these striped ones. You know, there's... A bunch of them in there, the long, skinny kind of ones. But there again, you know, they get buried in the vines. And like say, here's some of them sugar babies that have mixed in with the striped ones. Growing one on top of the other. So I'll have plenty of watermelons. But then we get to pumpkins. Like right here is the, uh, the pie pumpkins. And here you can see they're already starting to turn orange. You know, those are those smaller. But quite good pie pumpkins. But then in this jungle, you know, these are the giant pumpkins. And <laughs> they're turning orange already, but my God, you know, that that's a big pumpkin. And there's a, quite a few of them scattered throughout here. But she is a jungle. I didn't even realize there was that many of them until the vines kind of started dying back. And then you see a lot of these big babies but those are the ones I'm growing you know the giant ones are really kind of an ornamental thing more but I'm growing them for the seed uh, I like toasted pumpkin seeds and they have a big seed to them but you now I can go out the corn but this uh, 75 day it was getting very close. So I got to work on the 65, though I see uh, deer been at one. And there's pumpkins that snuck over into here. She's a jungle. But those spike pumpkins there, they're doing good. But like I say, that's more of a novelty than anything, but they do have big seeds, and like I said, I like the pumpkin seeds. But she is a jungle. It's kind of nice now that these vines are dying back a little, I can actually see what I got, you know, because it's... But I know, you know, some of these pumpkins are going through... Oh yeah, like there's one. Trying to escape the pasture altogether. Well, did kind of make a break for it. But they tend to do that. You 
you know, this last row of corn, like I say, you know, that's sandy right there, and there, there ain't much corn there. But those two rows of the 75 day, there's corn in there. But I've already got probably enough corn canned up to last me, though I'll make another run pretty soon on this 65 day just to, to finish it up. Can a dozen jars and I've already got quite a pile, so I'll be well set for corn. But that's a good thing, it cans very well. There again, pressure canner. You, you know, to do corn, you need a pressure canner. But then I'll start canning up the pie pumpkins. You know, can that for making pumpkin pies later. But these big ones, uh, I'll just take the seeds and throw the rest of the pumpkin out for, well, maybe deer. Deer might eat pumpkin, I don't really know. We'll try them. Something's bound to eat them. Hard to even walk around in here without crushing all the vines. But there's pie pumpkins that mixed into these other pumpkins. You know, everything is kind of mixed together. But the pie ones, that's about as big as they get right there. You know, they're not a big pumpkin. But they make good pies. I don't think you can make pie of them other ones. Well, I suppose you could. I don't know why not, but it'd be a lot of pie. But they make excellent seeds. I, I love toasted pumpkin seeds, and I believe there's certain health benefits to them. But now, corn. I've been eating a lot of corn. <laughs>